Hey guys, I'm here to do a review on the Emperor Racing skid plate for the Kawasaki KLX 250S. I just picked this up uh, from a local supplier. Emperor Racing is a company out of Chilliwack, British Columbia. I think they used to be called Scorpion. Um, but uh, yeah, the name is Emperor Racing now and their logo is nicely engraved into the uh, skid plate. See the old scorpion carry over there. Initial impressions is that this is quite good quality. It's made out of 3 16 gauge aluminum. The welds appear to be nice and beefy. No, no shoddy welding there. Beautiful welds. Um, all these CNC cutouts, they're all deep bird, which is pretty nice. And uh, another cool thing about this skid plate is, obviously we have an oil drain plug here. But over on this side we have a hole for the uh, water pump drain. So it's nice to be able to access that if we need to drain out the coolant on the bike. So these guys are pretty thoughtful. They included some hardware with the skid plate, which of course you'd want. This is an attachment plate. This will go behind the, the frame on, on the bike and those bolts will go through the plate and attach to it. And it's nice that they included these um, sticky foam strips. Um, these are to place uh, on the frame of the bike as well. And these will sandwich between the skid plate and the frame just to reduce any potential vibration that might happen. So it's nice that they included those things and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to putting this thing on. So I've got the original skid plate off of the bike and I thought I'd put them together for a little side by side. As you can see, that thing is freaking tiny. It really does not give a lot of protection underneath the bike. And you can see where the original skid plate covers. It really only covers from this section here up to here. That's it. I gave it a good cleaning and I noticed this whole section of casing, which is not protected, it's actually been sandblasted here. You see all that paint that's missing? You also notice up here, this portion of the frame. You can kind of tell it looks a little bit like I just painted it, which is what I did. This whole bit here was sandblasted from, you know, whatever coming off the wheel. So I just took it and cleaned it up. It was kind of rusty. So I cleaned off the rust and primed it and painted it. This is all going to be covered by the new skid plate. So I just thought I'd take care of that surface rust before covering it up. Okay guys, I spent some time and I finally got this skid plate mounted onto the bike. As you can see, it looks really nice. We've got some nice protection in areas where the old skid plate didn't do any kind of protection at all. Um, these nice side wings here with that beautiful logo engraved on there. We've got some nice coverage of these uh, hoses as well as the water pump. There's that drain that I had mentioned to you before, that, uh, sorry, the hole for the water pump drain. Uh, we even have a little bit of protection around where the pegs mount to the frame. So it's nice to be able to protect that bolt that holds that on. Moving around to the other side. Nice big wing here protecting this largely exposed portion of the case that never had any real protection before, okay? Um, we even have a little bit of an overlap uh, of protection here for the shifter, which is kind of nice. I never really realized that it would do that until just now. You can sort of see that there, the spring on the shifter, you know, once that's out of the way, you know, that's pretty much flush. So if you're brushing up against anything here, hopefully you're not going to rip off your shift lever. 
Yeah, so I'd say it looks pretty good. Um, installing it was quite tricky. Just because it's a really tight fit. It has really tight tolerances, which I do like. It, it just takes a bit more time to fiddle around with and and get right. Um, especially with the, the front mounting bracket where all those four bolts um, bolt into. Uh, one thing that I did notice, and I would like to point out to Emperor Racing, is this back tab here with those back two bolts. See how it's up at a bit of an angle? Um, these bolts, it's sort of hard to tell from the video here, but they're not quite sitting flush against the skid plate. So that little tab there, if they were to back off the angle, angle it down a few degrees, it would just make the fitment a little bit easier without really sacrificing any of your tolerance. Um, it would just help there line up those front bolts because snugging those bolts down at the back, they don't quite bear evenly on that aluminum. It's not a big deal, you know, it just makes installation a little bit more tricky. So that would be my one suggestion to Emperor Racing. All in all, um, I'm pretty happy with this product. It looks really good on the bike and it obviously offers a lot more protection than the original skid plate. So yeah, that's it and uh, hope to get riding this thing soon. See you guys.